Hi everyone, welcome to the McNay Art Museum's Fun for Families video demonstration, where a McNay educator will demonstrate a fun and simple art activity to do at home with your family. Thanks for clicking on our video and let's get started. So today's video is going to be called Watercolor Play, where we will use a simple watercolor set and various household uh, materials um, to have fun with uh, watercolor and not only paint it, but create really fun visual techniques on paper. So uh, initially, I'm just going to go over some of the materials that you will need. Watercolor, most important. A simple kit or a set like this will do. If you have uh, liquid watercolor, that works just as well. Paint brushes. You can use the paint brush that comes with your kit if you like. Um, or you can use um, some of the ones like I have. I have a flat brush and kind of a rounded uh, pointed brush as well. Any paintbrush will do, uh, whichever you're comfortable with. You'll need some paper towels or maybe just like a kitchen rag if you don't mind getting a little bit dirty. You'll need a little cup of water like this one, a little paint cup. You'll need some thick paper cardstock will do, or if you have watercolor paper like I have here, that um, is also, uh, that will do just fine. Um, a couple of different sheets works well, um, or you could just use one sheet. You will need some standard crayons. I will be demonstrating with the white crayon, and I'll show you why that is later, uh, but any color crayon will do. You'll also need some masking tape like I have here. Uh, blue painter's tape works just as well. Uh, you just need to be able to easily lift it off of the paper. Some table salt. Uh, you don't need the whole container like I have here, just your salt shaker will do. And last but not least, saran wrap or plastic wrap, whichever you have, even if you just have some uh, packaging plastic that's you know thrown into the recycle you can yank that out and use that just as well okay so let's get started technique number one I have a blank piece of watercolor paper or cardstock and I'm just gonna put my colors up there and my cup of water up there as well and some blotting paper towels. So the first one we're going to do, go ahead and have your salt candy. And I'm just going to pour a little bit of salt inside this little dish and use that. So go ahead and get some water on your brush. And let's just pick any color we like. I really like green start off with that. Just for the sake of the demo, why don't we just put a little bit of paint onto this paper. You can make it as dark or as washy and light as you prefer. And once we have that, take a little bit of salt, a little pinch with your fingers, and just sprinkle it onto the paint while it's wet. And then you'll start to notice, once you get really close up, that once this paint dries, you'll end up with this stippled effect on there. And the salt will actually adhere a little bit uh, to the paper. And you have this really fun kind of crystally polka dot design kind of going there. And you can apply this to a much larger area. Um, you can even go back in and add a little bit more and, and kind of manipulate the, the salt crystals a little bit, or you can just leave them on the paper as they fall. So that's technique number one. With my second piece of paper, I'm going to demonstrate this wax resist with some Crayola crayons. So if you have a white crayon, go ahead and grab that. And go ahead and make a fun design or maybe let your child color something in on the white paper. You won't be able to see it right away, but if you 
let them press down pretty hard and get a good design going, you can add let's use orange, some color over that. And then you have this wax resist thing going on. So if you kind of color, sometimes we like to use the white crayon and draw their name onto the paper and then let the let them go over it with the watercolor and then their name is revealed. You could use words, you could make this a really fun game, however you like, but um, the wax in the crayon resists the water in the watercolor. So this is a really fun technique. We use this a lot. Bust out your masking tape. And I'm going to get a nice clean piece. So with this piece, you might want to just do this and kind of get some of your uh, oils from your hands so it's not totally sticky. You could even like put this onto your t-shirt or your jeans and get the fibers on there just to make it a little bit less sticky. And I'm going to chop mine up into little pieces and put it here on my paper. But you can create any design that you like. You can tear the tape into different pieces. You could make stripes. And now let's take, I'm going to use some red, bold, bold red. Now I'm going to use a little bit of yellow, really load it up on there. Now some lovely blue. Okay, so now we have a bunch of pieces of tape and a nice little rainbow that we've made. Now you can go in and peel off pieces of your tape. And that will leave behind a white mark. So if you made some stripes and you colored over them, you'd have stripes. If you made some zigzag shapes or maybe just a frame, um, you will have the image kind of revealed after you remove the paint or the tape later. And finally, what we have next, I'm going to just tear out a sheet of plastic. Or, like I said earlier, you can use a piece of something recycled from the bin uh, if you like. So, to get this started, you got to get some water, load up your brush with a nice color. Let me get that on there. Orange. And take your plastic while the paint is still wet. And you can kind of see it starting to bubble up and gather. You can even use your finger and twist and kind of let your child play around with this technique. And you can kind of notice where the paint is gathering inside of the pieces of plastic and kind of create a really strong contrast. Maybe even start mixing some. You can kind of press it down and then just lift it off the paper and you'll be left with a technique kind of like this where it kind of bubbles and mixes and pools in some areas. Here is an already made example of this. You can kind of see where the plastic created these pools here that watercolor plastic wrap. So that kind of completes some of our techniques that we have today. Fun with watercolors. Go ahead and click on another video and learn another technique with us. Thank you so much.